Okay, so I'm back with another tutorial. This time it's going to be on the ME system. Uh, this may seem really complicated and daunting to you, but don't worry, this is pretty easy to cover and you guys will really, really want to use an ME system after this. Uh, first thing is, it's obviously a very strange system. Uh, the reason it's called ME is it's Matter Energy Conversion. It comes from the Applied Energistics mod. And what it does is it just turns all of your matter into data when you stick in, so it's all like a pretty much like a large storage system, if you will. Now, basics of it are pretty much like this. You need a controller, an access terminal, and a drive. You don't need the power relay, but I stuck that there for a reason. Um, you also need to power it through either the controller or the power relay, so you can stick in either one. Uh, literally, you could just stick it on like that. This is a creative cell. doesn't matter like that, and there you go. Knock it out. Changes, but then you can stick it on the power relay instead. You can't power it through any of the blocks, so if I knock this out again, um, of course this thing's still there, there we go. So I knock that out and I stick a creative cell there or something, nothing happened, one there, nothing happens, but one there, and it does. So that's the basics of what you need for an ME system. You also need to put in some storage stuff so you can stick anything in, because at the moment, nothing happens. As soon as you say, I've got this one. Uh, this is a 64k storage, this is the biggest they get, but there are 1k... Uh, th they go up in s in squares. It's 1k, 4k, um, not squares quite, close to squares. Uh, 1k, 4k, 16, and um, 64. It's a power of 4. Anyway, so stick that down there, and as soon as you do that, you can actually stick things in there, and it will register them. Uh, you can only have 63 types in any given drive, but the bigger the drive, the more it can store off that of those 63 types of items, or you can just store all of, all of one kind of item. Either way, you want more drives to begin with if you have lots of items, different kinds, and then you'll want to have large drives later on, because they're expensive. Lots of 1K drives will do plenty fine. Anyway, this is a basic setup of the ME system. This is kind of the what you might want to end up with. You'll end up with a controller, the drive, and the access terminal. Um, you don't have to have a drive. You can have something called an ME chest, which is that. It's effectively like the drive, but it can only store one of these. i just plonk it down. As like so, you just stick it there and... Say I take that one, which has nine, I stick it in there, and it will come up with the item. You can move them in and out of this, but you, uh, it's like the access terminal in one, but you don't need to get rid of that. And it, re and it does all that loading screen stuff when it, whenever you change something in the system. Anyway, the basis of the system is more than just um, doing storage things. Because it's in a, an energy state, you can use it, that energy state to kind of craft things or send them places. In this instance, you can use these export buses to send them out into machines, um, or import buses to pull them out of machines and put them back into the system. You also have interfaces, which are a whole lot more useful, and I'll get to them in a second. You also have level emitters, which, when there's a certain amount of something in the system, it'll either emit um, a resonance signal, or when it's above that amount, or below when it's below that amount. Um, just as a quick reference, this thing currently has very little stone in it, and it's on that system. Uh, it's on the the Torch, uh, emit when levels are below or equal to limit. Because it's below that um, that amount of stone, it's emitting signal. Um, because of this as well. And you can change these buses so that they are relative to the amount of uh, stack, uh, the relative to the signals that are going in. Effectively, it's just like a redstone signal, but uh, it uses the information from the system to uh, where, where know whether or not to apply it. This is extremely useful if you use them in combination. Anyway, that's just the input things, uh, those things, but if you say you have something you can craft, just straight up craft, uh, no need to put them in machines or anything, you need something that's this. It doesn't have to be this size or shape, it's a bit like the turbines and reactors over there, they just have to be a minimum size and shape. In this case it's a 3x3x3, three by three by three, and all you need to sort out the system is crafting CPU and pattern providers. If I just stick them there, and get rid of this thing. Uh, crafting CPUs mean you can craft more in any given moment, but the pattern providers are what store your patterns. So this thing, it's a page of these things. So say I stick one in each corner. It doesn't have to be like this. It can be a complete mess in here. But uh, it's made of heat vents for all the edge, uh, for all the sides and uh, assembly containment wall for the edging. And you can just put whatever you want inside. Uh, you can't put anything else other than these two kind of things, obviously, but you can put any combination of these, as many as you want. You can make all patterns and no CPUs, or you can make all CPUs and no patterns. Well, that's kind of stupid because you can't really craft anything then. 
because um, you need at least one of the you need at least one or so it can't make the thing can't make the cube let's just call the crafting cube basically so fill the thing up I'm filling it up with a lot of these so it does it quickly just to show you guys um, without having to worry about it get the heat vents anyway these things are quite expensive so you want to start off with a small one I'm just showing you the size just for an example now that it's made you can right click on the entire cube and it gives you because well, I put there's eight corners on the inside because it's a cube and I put eight providers in each of those sections so suddenly there's eight pages uh, each of those things provides a page of patterns you can put now this thing is a pattern encoder which is what you use to make patterns which you can then put in this or you can put them in the interfaces but I'll get to that in a second so I at the moment have this crafting pattern for a furnace I can uh, I put down the cobblestone uh, tell you what, I'll grab the cobblestone and remake it just just to show you um, I can have like a bunch or something. Let's hit clear. Um, I can do cobblestone and I can just do that. Hold right click, drag and fill. Uh, or I could just have, just hit right click on each of them. Uh, and it will make the furnace. Same way, left click, dust, dust one. Yeah, and if you left click multiple times, it doesn't really do anything unless you double click and then it puts in the stack you're on about. So, say so you do that or something. Um, you just keep right clicking and it'll try and kind of get rid of it but if you keep left clicking and then get rid of that and then right if you right click it reduces by one if you left click it gets rid of it when you have an empty hand so anyway do that tries to make a furnace uh, you can click that get rid of it and put something else in but again that's for interfaces I'll get to that in a second so there's furnace click and code eight cobblestone crafts one furnace grab this pattern stick it in this thing and it turns into the object it's supposed to be doing now, I've still got some cobblestone in the system. Stick that in. And I say it's come up with this craft option. So I've already got hardened glass in one of the interfaces. I'll show you in a sec. So this furnace option. Say I want two furnaces. I'll click craft. Suddenly I have two furnaces. Because I've got a lot of CPUs, it did it quite quickly. Uh, but suddenly I've dropped down the cobblestone amount as well. So it draws directly from the ME system. Now, that's pretty much exactly how the cube works. But say you want to craft something more complicated and something that requires machines. You've got this hardened glass here. For instance, now originally you need obsidian and something like that. Uh, I actually need another servo motor. I forgot the second one. Oops, actually no, I don't need the second servo motor. I'm I'm very silly. The only thing I forgot to do in this whole thing was this and a bit of lead. To craft hardened glass, you need crushed obsidian and lead. So I got a pulverizer and an induction smelter for the actual crafting. Pulverizer will send uh, stuff to the induction furnace and it'll draw out from there. Uh, induction furnace, induction smelter. Um, force a habit from uh, IC2. And anyway, I turn this to whitelist mode. Blacklist means it will reject what's ever in the list, so it'll accept anything that isn't on the list. It's better to use whitelist so it rejects everything except what's on the list. That way, everything passes it by except what you've added, unless you're not really, really bothered, in which case, just go ahead and do that. This thing's on powered extract mode, so that uh, or else the exported items list here, which is going to try and do, will not be drawn out. Um, doesn't like doing that. Anyway, so the induction smelter, and it will send the lead here because that's the only other available place it can go because that thing's on whitelist mode. So this interface here, say, is on encoded pattern. Iron glass, a obsidian, lead ingot. I could have made it crushed obsidian, lead ingot, and set it straight to the induction smelter, but instead. I kind of want to show them a slightly more advanced setup for you. And then, I don't even know why I have that there, actually. So, I want to make some hardened glass. I'm say, just two. I send that. I think I've made this recipe slightly wrong. I think it's meant to be two hardened glasses made from the whole whole thing, or four. I forget. But still, it's going to send all the materials here. At least it's supposed to. Oh, this is annoying. Uh, it's supposed to send the obsidian and the lead through this thing into here and it's just not doing it that is bad oh dear this is a very crappy tutorial already I'm so sorry okay I'll get back to that in a second then I'll do that last so that you don't guys don't have to skip through video just to get to me fixing it I would cut it out but it's easier to just do this um so with an interface here for instance you can also set up another pattern to craft stone for instance so say i've got stone wait a minute so i've got cobblestone or something and i want stone as well 
So set this to this, and it won't come up with anything, but I can take the stone and put it there instead. I can hit encode, gives you one stone for one cobblestone. Now what will happen now is I can stick this in this interface and put it in the processing section. That is in the right place, right? Yeah. So now at the moment, if I exceed certain limits, thanks to these level limiters, it will automatically try and craft stone anyway. Uh, well, it would if I had that, for instance. So I do that. Not stone. Cobblestone. So now it's just going to send some cobblestone in the field automatically. I'll get rid of that. Pull that out. So that's how it would do that normally. But, say I don't want it to do that when I have certain amounts. I just want to craft stone when I want it to. Now, when there's some automatic predetermined limit that I admittedly I made. So, I want to craft some stone. Say I want to craft 10 stone. Or 70, 54 stone. Begin. And it will now send exactly 54 stone into the redstone furnace. Okay, quite handy. And this thing will pull it out. I've set them all to stack mode. But, um... Yeah, it will only send exactly what you're supposed to. So this thing can stick on stack. This thing will send the 54, but in a stack rather than individually, which would be that mode. Single items. Uh, there's also the move single items and craft as well, but no matter. Anyway, I don't know why this thing is, is so bad at all this, but hey-ho, that is the correct. Stick that in there. So I've broken down the processing tree a little bit, so now there's just the, uh, you're making the hardened glass, the pulverized obsidian, and the lead, and you're making the um, that directly. I'm also going to get rid of that, and then we're going to change that to the bottom so that I can just get an import bus, show it underneath, and some ME cable. There we go. Okay, so that should happily work away. Uh, make it orange. Uh, let's make it blue on top. Um, hang on. Right, that needs to be blank. This needs to be blue, and that just needs to be red. Uh, that needs to be orange, actually. Okay, so induction smelter set to normal, processing, hardened glass, and such. S still trying to make the hardened glass, just the one. Okay, hardened glass. Let's try and make two. Uh, cancel, actually. Make some pulverized obsidian. It's eight, for instance. Happily sends the obsidian away. Pulls it out. Does that. Now let's try and make the hardened glass. Let's make two. Now it's working. So it doesn't like complicated stuff like that at the moment, seemingly. So as long as it does okay with those things, it's fine with that. There you go. That's, that is the basics of it. I'm sure you can make it simpler, and you could make it so that when it does uh, this... You can make all sorts of very, very clever automation. Um, but that is the basics of the ME system. At least it works now, and you guys know how to do that. Uh, it's Again, these things are expensive, and you really need to know how to use NEI to do that. So I'm going to make a quick tutorial on NEI, which I'm probably going to release before everything else. So I will see you guys um, in the next tutorial. Again, leave in the comments anything you'd like to see next. In particular, I will do the one that's most commented about in the uh, in the comments um, or most requested in the comments first and I will get around to covering everything anyway so I will see you guys next time